spread. It is time for our two faithful to fail devotional with Pastor Charles and Pastor Mrs. Deborah Charles Osazua. Today is Monday, the 22nd day of July 2024. Our topic is the dangers of scheming and manipulation. Our anchor scripture reads, For if thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Genesis 4 verse 7 In our relationships with others, especially our brothers and sisters in Christ, we must be careful not to engage in scheming and manipulation. Never talk down on a brother just to get a favor from another brother. This behavior is not only harmful to others, but also dishonors God. In Genesis 4 verse 7, God warns Cain about the danger of sin and the importance of doing well. This verse reminds us that our actions have consequences and we must strive to do what is right in God's eyes. The story of Joseph and his brothers in Genesis 37 verse 47 teaches us about the consequences of scheming and manipulation. Joseph's brothers were jealous of him and plotted against him, selling him into slavery. But God used Joseph's suffering to bring about a great blessing and he eventually became a ruler in Egypt. In James 3 verse 14 to 16, we are admonished about the dangers of bitterness, envy and strife. But if ye have bitter, envy and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descended not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. Let us remember that honesty and integrity are essential in our relationships. We must not talk down on others to gain favor with others. Instead, we must strive to build each other up and honor God in all we do. Let us pray. Please say after me, Lord, help me to always act with integrity and honesty in my relationships. May I never engage in scheming and manipulation, but instead, may I build others up and honor you in all I do. Praise God. Let us take the confession together. I reflect on my relationships and interactions with others, and I seek God's guidance in building others up and honoring Him. Praise God. I thank you for being part of this morning devotion. I believe God from what you have taken in through the word of God today. As you step out, your day is blessed. Your week is blessed. Your family is blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. We will be doing this again tomorrow morning. Stay tuned. God bless you.